Nice. Know. That was one thing I did. So are, really are your like. ear placements even? Or are they, they have some variance in height? Ear placement. Ear placement. Where, oh. Do you know? Nope. I don't know. Well, I shouldn't say I shouldn't say on a large scale. I haven't. I haven't scouted enough acres. I scouted everything out west last night. Um, made the run through there. Uh, back home, I haven't done enough walking through corn to be like okay to get to that detail. Mine, mine was more as I'm flying behind the sprayer to try to get post done on beans. Mm-hmm. Hey, tassels are evening out or stop. You know, walk field line, get in there. I haven't gotten deep enough in to be like say i can answer that okay. solidly do, enough. do you do flag tests at all on emergence do you do any of that um yeah so this year interestingly enough so i was able to get half my strip till done and the rest i was not so i had to no till it yep um which is fine the last two years we had enough weather events to where we were able to hone in and be able to do raise some really great no-till corn um all of our beans are no-till uh but corn has always been kind of a that's more of an equipment thing, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, dude, if you're not, if your equipment isn't dialed in, <laughs> that's you're you're behind. You're yep. not going to make up for it with product. I'm yep. sorry. And so, um, anyway, got our note. So we did no till. The no till this year, we struggled on emergence, but that was, I think, that was vastly due to our just volatile soil temperatures. Mm-hmm. The yeah. strip till, I can't. I mean, it's. I'm pretty picky with my planner. I'm pretty picky with strip till and everything. If everything's dialed right, man, I've done the flag tests and everything's pretty darn even. Right. Now, what's interesting is say where you got a strip because you got a strip till, right? No. Oh, you don't have a strip till. I used one for. I borrowed one from a neighbor this year. Okay. Like the first time ever, and on seed corn. Yeah. Because we we um, we had some cattle. We had volunteer wheat growing, so I we just brought the cattle out and, but it it got wet. Mm-hmm. They smeared it. And I'm like, either I till the whole field or I'm I'm a strip till it. Mm-hmm. And so I borrowed this guy, and it was perfect. Yeah, emergence. That's well. And, that's and it's th- crazy because I was digging behind the plant because I'm a digger. Yeah, I always dig, make sure all the rows are the same. Every I, single yeah, row. Yeah. I'm really anal about this. Mm-hmm. But w- the worm, the worms were crazy. Yeah, already in there eating that wheat, all the wheat straw. They were breaking it down. Sure, that's one thing. You know, I can I can go to a field and tell you if it's healthy. Oh yeah, just dig. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. if you're hitting right a worm there, every Kurt single no inch, <laughs> dig, uh, cut that out right there. Right. Yeah. If you hit a worm, which we do every time you put it in, the putty knife in the ground, you're good. It's fine. Yeah. So, um, we've actually like we banded humic or humate before, and that those worms will go right down that trench. They'll follow it's it. Insane. Yeah. It just. Yeah, it's like candy to them. It is. <laughs> so <laughs> it is. The higher the carbon, generally more worms yeah. show up. And that's funny. <laughs> that's our that's our struggle, I guess, on our ground is is you know being a seed corn grower and a soybean grower, are, we're carbon deficient. Okay, well, sure. Soybeans like carbon. That's mm-hmm. our challenge. Sure. So I got to figure out a way to make that happen. Yeah, it's really hard to push hundred bushel beans if you are not very high in carbon. Oh, absolutely. So, well, our so our beans behind corn always do better, mm-hmm. always, no matter what. And there, I've heard so many theories and explanations. Well, there's leftover fertilizer, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, I think it's the carbon. It's the carbon. It's the carbon 100%. from the extra root. So one thing, this is this. Is, you know, they said all the good stuff. Most of the good stuff that really makes big differences is free. I mean, yeah. for the you know, like it you really said, is. timing and all this other stuff it doesn't cost extra dollars. Mine is so we banned all our fertility on our corn mm-hmm. and strip till. I'll come in. I'll run last year's planting corn planting guidance, and I'll offset four inches. And so I'll run yep. all my beans That's four inches do. off. And one, it looks so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so cool. You got one row cleaner that's over here, like doing the work of a hundred, right. and the other one just like just parked. Yep. And uh, anyway, but I'm seeing an average of five bushel an acre farm wide boost when my beans are planted right there. <laughs> I didn't add anything extra, 
And, you know, is it getting it next to the last year's decomposing biology? High bi- it's high biology, higher fertility. Well, think of the root system, how that root system comes down. Mm-hmm. You're putting right. it right there. So right anything back. that's going on is. Right. And then yeah. I'll come back in the next the next year, shift back or, and then run the same corn line or strip till and then corn line. Sure. Man, that's been that has worked so well. Yep. And some guys are like, well, I planted an angle and don't have any yield reduction. Okay. That's fine. You know, you know, the only thing that's going through my mind right now is when we did soil samples at your place. Mm-hmm. I wish I would have known that piece, of, that tidbit of information. Which one? When we were doing the cabin field. Oh. Because that, if that's what you've been doing, I should have just stayed in those four inches. Stayed that t- right there. <laughs> Guys, if you've liked the information that you've seen so far, go ahead and check out the full length podcast on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe there. It's also on all the major plat- podcast platforms. Um, We're constantly dropping info and more content on all the social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Check it out for a lot more content.